Good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome. This is Chanel Anderson with Radiant Living Biz. I am so excited today. We have a special guest, and our theme for today is Radiant Living Biz Spotlight. I'll be introducing you to Coach Kiara Shade. Come on in. Uh, she is an amazing entrepreneur with an amazing story. And today she's going to be sharing with us how to make money using Instagram, how to make money using Instagram. So thank you so much uh, to everyone who is here with us for the first time. I am delighted to have you. Go ahead and start sharing the live. Even the dogs outside are excited. <laughs> Go ahead and start sharing the live. Welcome, welcome. Let me go ahead and drop this in the comments for you. Okay. All right. If you are part of Team RLB, welcome. Uh, if you are invited by someone, welcome. You're going to want to make sure you have your pen and paper ready. Let me go ahead and try to get her on bear with me all right so in the meantime while we are waiting for our guest and special uh presenter to join us um i'm going to just start sharing some power affirmations all right to set the tone for what it is we are creating today all right welcome to well welcome yoni Love by Lala. Good to see you. All right. Positive mental power. Positive mental power. I eradicate from my mind all thoughts of doubts, fears, and condemnations and dispel all that is against the truth of who and what I am from controlling my life stream. I now requalify any spirit substance ever used by my consciousness for that which is less than godliness. And from now, all is perfect power. My mind is now in a state of absolute wholeness and I give thanks. Here she is. Here she is. I'll be bringing you on in a moment, queen. Self-expression. Fear, lack, unhappiness. Ignorance, lack of courage, selfishness, lack of commitment, greediness, ingratitude, unreliability, undependability are alien to my true self-expression. And they are now replaced with those qualities of fearlessness, unlimited supply, wisdom, strength, selflessness, faithfulness, givingness, gratitude, reliability, dependability, and this truth frees me to be my highest and best self at all times. I give thanks. Great morning, Team RLB. I see you guys coming in. Please make sure you share the live stream so we can give a warm welcome to our guest presenter. I see she is here. Let me go ahead and try to request um, Kiara to see if you can request to join me. Invite to join. Let me see if I can invite you. Throw some hearts up, everybody. Good morning, R.A. Sweetie. Here she is. Just good like morning. That. Great morning. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Thank you so much for agreeing to pour into us this morning. You are at home. You are welcome. You are appreciated. So glad you agreed to just share some of your wisdom and expertise as it relates to uh, Instagram marketing. Um, everyone, I just want to introduce our guest. I'm going to let her share a little bit about herself uh, and her story, and then we're going to get into uh, how to make money on Instagram. If you guys are ready, go ahead and type a, type a welcome, first of all. Type some hearts in the comments just to let her know that she is loved at home and appreciated uh, in the Radiant Living Biz Spotlight, okay? Let her know that, first of all. And then go right ahead, Kiara. Okay, awesome. Well, first of all, thank you for having me here. 
um it's very hard to get me you know how many people come here like that we gotta do a live and i'm like all right if it's not tomorrow <laughs> listen but, um, you, thank you, you talked about that here. five second uh i listened to your live when you talked about that five seconds to die right I be so I don't even know how I'm squeezing you in right now. I'm 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 really supposed to be doing something else, but I said I didn't already tell her I can't reschedule this. Like, let me just do this and figure out the rest later. But I'm happy to be here. I'm not gonna take up too much of you guys' time because I know we're all busy, but um I will be discussing my four pillars to um creating cash flow with Instagram. So um just a little bit about me. My name is Kiara Shade. It's pronounced Shade, not say Sadie. What whatever y'all be saying. Um, I help small business owners learn how to grow and monetize their Instagrams completely organically. Um, and I specifically go for those with a small audience because I have proved that you don't have to have a large audience in order to be profitable. You just need to be persistent with your platform. So I myself started this page uh, almost a year and a half ago and I started monetizing it at just 232 followers. Um, so I know it works and I've been creating consistent five figure months for myself just by using Instagram. I haven't invested in any paid ads yet. Um, I did start learning them last year, but I, I, I just, it's something about organic for me um, mm -hmm. that that really hits home for me. Uh, Y'all see me in, on the paid side one day, but I really <laughs> truly believe in order to master the paid side, you should first master your organic side. So today we're going to be going over the four pillars. It's four C's that I use in order to have, it's a framework for monetizing your Instagram and those four things. And we're going to go over these into detail. Um, first of all, y'all ready? What's up, Arvila? Hey, what y'all doing? Y'all having lunch? About to do a little lunch and learn. Y'all ready? Let me know y'all ready. Drop your favorite emoji in the comments and let me know that y'all are ready. Are y'all taking notes? Drop a pen, drop some note paper, drop a, I don't know, whatever your favorite emoji is. And let me know that y'all ready. Y'all listening because I'm going to be going fast. I need to know y'all ready. All right. All right. Mm. All right. So these four pillars are number one, clarity. Number two, content. Number three, culture. And number four, campaign. So repeat them again, and we're going to go into these in detail if you miss something. Number one is clarity. Number two is content. Number three is culture, and number four is campaign. So let's break that, let's break these down really quickly. In order to be able to monetize your social media platform, and this is with any platform, but I specifically um, focus on Instagram, you need to have clarity around three things, okay? Number one is you need to have clarity around your niche, right? What is it that you specialize in specifically, right? Not just Instagram, but con for me, it's content for Instagram, right? I teach people how to create captivating content. I teach people how to create content that converts, right? So that can go as deep as captions, um, the creating videos, reels, carousels, right? What is it that you that you specialize in? And I like to say a niche. A niche is the answer to the problem that your target audience has, which we'll get to later. Anisha is simply the answer to the problem that the people that you're supposed to be targeting have, okay? So that's number one. You have, need to have clarity in your niche. Number two is you need to be clear of who you're speaking to. So these people who have the problem, who is it, right? And I like to teach my tribe that we're going to focus on one person because a lot of people don't properly target because they're trying to either target too many, they, they want everybody, right? They think their product is for everybody. It's for whoever got money. No, it's not. <laughs> or they're like this group of people. When I create content, I'm speaking to one person. It relates to multiple people. It relates to married men. And in my target audience is nobody that's a man or married. But I have attracted married women into my business and my brand. But they just correlate to some of the content that I put out, but I'm speaking to one person when I'm creating my content. I might say y'all, I might say they, I might say we, but I'm speaking to one person when I create my content. You have to be clear on who your target audience is, and that is just one person. If you, if, and, and I like to explain it like this, it's easier like this. If I put you in a room with 10 people in there and I said, I need you to talk to these 10 people and I shut the lights off and you couldn't see who was in the room, What's the first thing you're going to ask me? Well, who in the room? Who, who am I talking to? And what, what do you want me to say to them? 
Mm -hmm. right you got to start off with knowing who's in the room and what their problem is in order for mm -hmm. you to be able to help them or speak to them okay so think That's of it like good. that a lot of you guys are in the room in the dark and you have no idea who you're talking to and you ain't asked mm -hmm. the appropriate questions to be able to gain clarity around who it is that you're speaking to and who you should be helping okay mm -hmm. so that's number two number three you need to have clarity around your offer whatever your offer is if your offer is an ebook if your offer is a pair of jeans if your offer is a pair of lashes if your offer is a massage whatever your offer is you need to have super super clarity around that how it's going to help people see a lot of people get this but they start talking about the features oh you get 60 minute massage so what what is that what is that going to do for me you get 60 minutes of invigorating self care with the whatever the most um anointed hands that'll bring you from stuck to clear or whatever right whatever it is your target audience is looking for why are we coming in looking for massages i'm gonna take your chiropractor bill out your life hmm i need to be coming to you so you you gonna fix my back with them hands mm -hmm. Right. So we need to be really clear around our offer and what our offer can mm -hmm. do for our audience. OK, mm -hmm. get really clear on that because you cannot market it if you're not clear on what you're offering mm -hmm. to people and how it can help them, how it can serve them and what their life would be like if they don't get your offer. How will it, how, well, if you don't come and get this massage, because I know there's a lot of people, a lot of you in the spa industry or, you know, selling body butters or things that have to do with the body. If you don't, get this tea guess what you you might as well just shave 10 years off your life because you're, you're over there living unhealthy right you i don't know how much time you're going to, to spend with your grandkids will you even get to meet your grandkids right you got to hit those pain points and let them know it's not just about the tea and shaking and coming on here and looking cool with the cool kids right it's about this is a this is a life or death issue now okay this is about your health this is about being able to move and not having to use a cane this is about being able to travel without having to wait on the wheelchair at the end of your flight okay so that's number one the first pillar is clarity creating clarity and gaining clarity around your niche your target market and your offer we're going to pillar two am i moving too fast for y'all y'all keeping up we, we all right with you. we're with you clarity um content second pillar number two is content now that you have clarity around your niche your target audience and your offer and some of you won't be super clear some of you will still be like, well, I'm still trying to figure it out. Pick something and move with it, okay? Mm -hmm. Pick something and move with it. Mm -hmm. With action comes clarity. When you start moving, you'll start mm -hmm. to gain more clarity, okay? Mm -hmm. So now we're going into content. You want to create all sorts of types of content. When you're first starting your business or you're starting a new page over or you're launching something, I always like to teach people you want to plan 30 days of content, but I like to plan mine seven days at a time. Okay, because I like to be in the moment when I'm when I'm putting out content, right? And you're gonna you're gonna plan these things out and say maybe day one I'm gonna do a reel, a carousel, a single post. Day two I'm gonna do two reels, a single post. But you want to have your content pillars, and a content pillar is just a fancy way of saying a topic, mm -hmm. your content topic, right? You want to have three to five of those. If you can stick to three in the beginning, that's great. The smaller Although I, I know, I know for some of y'all, like, it's just, I won't get to everybody if I stick to, it's people that stick to one content pillar that are out here killing it because that's mm -hmm. what they're known for. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to stick to your content pillars, three, I'm going to say three, y'all don't get three to five, three max, three different top topics within your niche that you're going to stick to within those 30 days and you're going to pump out content. You go go find people that's already serving your audience, see what they're getting engagement on, and you're going to use that as inspiration, not copyration, inspiration, and you're going to say, how can I make something like this that, that I can use in my voice that'll speak to my audience, okay? For instance, you might see Kiera Shade make a reel that says three things you need to stop doing on Instagram. Maybe you're in the spa industry. You saw that did really good. Okay, so let me make a carousel or a reel that says three things you need to stop putting on your face or stop doing to your face right now in order to get clear skin or whatever, right? You need to change your pillowcase, wash your pillowcase, you wrap up your hair. I don't know. I ain't no skin expert. I don't, I don't know. But y'all know, y'all get, get the gist. It's not hard to create content when you know who you're speaking to and you stop making it hard. 
Y'all be like, I don't, I don't know what the, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I just don't know what to post. It's all, of, you're consuming content all day. What did you like? What did you engage with? Go there. And I'm not going to get too far into content because you guys have somebody else coming to teach content, but content, understand you Stop making the same content. Stop posting quotes. Don't nobody care. There ain't nobody coming to your page to get inspired. Okay? Stop doing it. Create videos, reels. Use your stories. Okay? It goes down in the story. I know people say it goes down in the DM, but in order to get to the DM, people are ingest they're ingesting your stories. They're like, wow, you know, they're getting closer to use your stories. Use everything, all the touch points of Instagram. Make sure those captions are thought provoking and not just click the link in my bio. Okay, you gotta get, you gotta create content um, that really. Can, this is where, this is where the, your money is, right? And when you're creating this content, make sure it's three things: it's engaging, entertaining, educational. We want to stick to these: engaging, entertaining, educational. It doesn't have to be in uh, all three at the same time. Maybe you made something that's educational, might not be so engaging, but they're all saving it, right? You want to make sure you're looking at these metrics and seeing what is that people are saving. Like, oh, this was really helpful to them. Maybe I should do a live on this. Maybe I should write an email on this because this was something that really helped my audience, okay? So engaging, entertaining, education. Nobody don't come on here to be sold. We want to be entertained. Social media is a place where we want to be entertained and we come looking for information, okay? Um, so that's content. Um, and one more thing. You want to ensure that your content is building the KLT. You want to be consistent with your content. You want to show up here every single day. At least once a day, at least for the first ninety days. Kara, say break down KLT for people who may not know what that is. I absolutely will. So KLT is it stands for no like and trust factor. You want your audience to get to know you, right? And you also want to get to know them. If your audience doesn't feel like they know you and your brand, they're not going to trust you enough, which we'll get to trust in order to go and click the buy button. People want to feel like they know your brand and know what it stands for. Let's use Chick-fil-A, for instance, right? We've all been to Chick-fil-A. Most of us don't check our bags when we go to Chick-fil-A. But if we go to Popeye's, we're checking our bag. They, we know their brand. Not saying that one is worse than the other, but we know their, know their brand. We know Popeye's, that chicken going to be, you know, it's going to be on point. But the customer service might not be. So let me check my bag. Chick-fil-A, I've never checked my bag before and I'm I, I'm I'm very picky about my food, but I know they're gonna have my food the way it's supposed to be. Okay. That's no like people have to like your brand. If you don't like fruit of the loom, you ain't gonna buy fruit of the loom. Even though fruit of the loom hangs is sitting right next to each other and they look like the same dang on underwear. It's just one say fruit of the loom, one say hangs. You don't like fruit of the loom for whatever reason. Maybe you didn't get to build enough brand trust with fruit of the loom, or maybe uh, your ex-boyfriend used to wear Fruit of the Loom or something, and you're not, you don't like Fruit of the Loom, but you like Hanes. You're going to go with the brand that you like, right? And people are the same way with you. Y'all, A lot of y'all say that the market is oversaturated and all that. The market can never be oversaturated because there is only one you. Your KOT factor is what separates you from everybody else. People might like what you do versus what somebody else does that's selling the exact same thing as you, Okay. Um, T is for trust. People have to trust your brand, right? I have to trust that Popeyes don't come with that same consistency, right? I ain't never been to a Popeyes and the chicken ain't taste like Popeyes. And I done went to the Popeyes in Dubai and the chicken still tastes like the Popeyes in the United States, okay? I trust that it's going to give me what it's supposed to gain. It's going to understand the assignment. People need to feel the same way with you. They need to trust that you're going to deliver the massage that you said you're going to deliver. They need to trust that when they buy this ebook, it's going to give what it's supposed to give. If they don't, they will not buy, and your product could literally be $5. This is why a lot of you guys have a hard time selling, even low ticketed, whether it's low ticketed or high ticketed. If people don't feel like they know your brand, they don't like your brand, a lot of people are going to follow you and they don't like you. They're just there to learn, or I don't know, you know, stalk your audience or whatever, and that's fine. Everybody ain't your customer. Everybody ain't for you. And if they don't trust your brand, don't trust that when they click that buy button, their credit card information is safe because you're going to deliver what you said you're going to deliver. They're not going to buy. Okay. So you have to have that KOT factor. You build that through your content, especially things like this live where people can really interact with you, see that you, you, you ain't just sitting behind a computer, stealing other people's stuff and reposting it. Right. 
um, videos, just everything, every accumulation of everything helps really build that no like and trust factor within your content. Okay. So that is pillar number two content. Moving on to pillar number three. Y'all all right? Y'all I'm having my lunch breakfast. Y'all all right? Let me know y'all all right. Y'all Thank good? y'all so much yep. for being here. Thank you for sharing the live stream. I appreciate it. We have a whole lineup coming up for you. And Kiara Shade kicked it off this Monday. So make sure you text Sales Gems to 31996 for notifications. Welcome, welcome. I know you guys are going to be taking action on this amazing information. All right, pillar number three. All right, number three is for culture, right? You need to build a culture around your brand. People want to and need to. It's a human need that people need to feel a part of something bigger than themselves, right? Social media definitely, definitely, definitely puts this pressure on people to feel a part of something, a part of a movement. When people feel alone and they feel like they're doing this thing by themselves, whether it's losing weight, whether it's getting their credit together, whether it's building a business, whether it's doing self-care, when they feel alone, they're not as apt to continue on with that journey. Right, you'll have a customer one time and they won't become a lifetime customer. We want our customers to become lifetime customers, right? In order to do that, you need to build a culture. People need to want to come on your life. For me, that people always say, well, how do you build a community on Instagram? Because when we think Instagram, we don't think culture. When we think Facebook, we think culture. Facebook groups and, you know, everybody can do that, you know, link with each other. But I have built a culture on my Instagram page where when I go live, people welcome my community welcomes new people. My community looks out for new people. My community helps people on that live. And it is a, an entire culture that has been built around my Instagram page. This separates me from other people. People, when they come to my page to consume my content or come to my DM to write a DM or come and engage with my stories, they feel like they are a part of a group, a part of a culture. What mm-hmm. culture are you building for your brand? Or are you just trying to sell the next item, Right. Um, in order to create culture, you got to have, you have to be authentic, right? So this is one thing that I struggled with when I first started my page. I felt like coaches, you know, I had to sound this, this whatever kind of way, you know, be all proper and shit, you know, and it, it wasn't, it wasn't coming off authentic. My people that I wanted to target could not connect with that. They like, yo sis, you know, I don't get it. The moment. I said, you know what? I'm going to just be myself. I cuss a little bit. I drink a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little hood. I strip for 13 years. I get my marketing tactics from the strip club. And that's what I'm going to bring to my brand. The minute I did that was the minute people started to connect to me. Mm-hmm. And it, and it's not a lot of strippers, right? I thought it would be a whole lot of strippers. There are a few people that have danced and they're, they're, they feel comfortable coming out and saying, you know what? I used to dance too. Oh, my God. But there are so many people that connect with my my with genuine, genuinity. I don't know. Y'all know what I mean. My authenticity. <laughs> yes. And we know what you mean. <laughs> and I've attracted mm-hmm. a tribe of people who are non judgmental, um, who are all on the same mission, who are helpful, and they just all think alike. And it's amazing to me um, how amazing my tribe is. And I attracted this all just from being myself. You really build a culture around your values, your morals, your beliefs, how you show up for your audience that starts to build a culture and it makes build. They start to build your business for you. They start to market your business for you. They start to say, hey, join this live or start tagging their friends on your post. This is who I was talking about. You need to link with her. You need to follow her. You need to connect with her. Okay. Sure, so let build me touch that culture. On that for a minute. I want, I want you to um, address um you know, people, do you think it's possible for people to be successful, make money on Instagram and be behind the scenes? Those who say, you know, I don't really like to show myself or um, for one reason or another, you know, they're just not, uh, they're introverted or I'm not ready to go live or, you know, what what would you say to those people? That's a really good question. Um, and I'm glad you asked this. So here, here, here's my take. Yes, you can build a business without showing your face, but you're going to have to have somebody's face there as the face of your brand, right? We don't know what the owner of Nike looked like, but guess who we do know who looked like? 
Michael Jordan, right? Mm -hmm. We don't know who Puma's owner looked like, but guess who we do know who looked like? Kanye West, mm -hmm. right? So if you are going to be shy or bashful to go live, you got to spend the money. You're exactly. going to have to go find you some brand ambassadors. You know, this is why I teach organic marketing because a lot of you guys don't have the funds to go ahead and be hiring the people that you need to hire in order to make the money that you want to make when it's as simple as I'm an introvert. I, people don't, I'm an introvert and I'm here talking to y'all right now. Guess what? It's only one person in this room. It's one person in here. So not wanting to go live because you're introverted to me, that this, it, my mind doesn't fathom it because when you go live, you're in the room literally by yourself. Mm -hmm. There's people on here. I see names. I see emojis. I see hearts. But ain't nobody here in this room. So you definitely can make money with a product-based business should you choose to hire and do the research. And you're going to lose some money looking for the correct brand ambassadors to represent your brand. You're just going to take a lot of research. But, mm -hmm. it, I mean, why, why choose to not make any money up until you get to that point? Who knows how long that could take when you come on, pop on here, Show the people, you know, you're real. And you might find a brand ambassador a lot sooner if you pop on here and let people know, hey, you know, it's me. I'm looking for brand ambassadors, da, 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 da. Now, if you're a coach, this is something totally different. I'm not, I'm not spending no thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars on nobody that I can't see. Right? What about I service need... providers? Touch on the service. Same thing with the service it, providers, right? Exactly. I need to see mm -hmm. what you're doing, sis. Mm -hmm. I need to see you put the lash on. I need to see that you did that and you didn't just take nobody picture and write your uh, your handle mm -hmm. underneath it, right? I don't, it it don't work for me, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you know, I'm not trusting you with my body to be, you know, massaging after surgeries and stuff like that. If you if you not on here, letting me know that you know what you know what you know. Okay. Okay. I'm going to okay. need you to come on here and show up and let me know you know what you know what you know what you know. That was powerful. Thank you. Let's get to four because I want them to be able to do some Q&A before you got to run. Absolutely. Um, and number four of the the four, the four pillars is going mm -hmm. to be campaigning. So mm -hmm. um, a lot of people get stuck here too, but a campaign is, is just simply a strategic map out of how you're going to launch, of how you're going to promote, of how you're going to market your services, your products, um, your brand, et cetera, right? So in that strategic map out, you're going to have emails, text, um, content that you're going to post, collaborative lives like this that you're going to do. Ads, should you choose to do influencer ads or even pay ads, you guys need to know that this needs to be planned out. A lot of y'all just trying to go and pay influencer to buy, to, to, to promote your stuff or do something for you, market for you, and you don't have any type of, funnel or anything on the back end to show these people what you know why did you even promote it right you didn't have a campaign in place so you need to have a strategic map out of hey this is how much i want to make i want to make ten thousand dollars how much is my product how much is my service my service is five hundred dollars per person okay i need 20 people how do i get my product in front of enough people so that i can convert 20 people right a lot of you guys may not have been in business long enough to even know your conversion rate so you just gotta start out and just say i just need to get how can i get this to as many people as i can so that you can start keeping those kpis which is a key performance indicator and write down well the last time i sold this i was able to sell 10 but i had to get it in front of a thousand people okay and you got a one percent conversion rate i have much that is what's i don't know one two i you do the math i don't know what you just take how many people mm -hmm. saw your stuff and then how many people bought, you divide that into that, and that's your conversion rate. And so next time you launch or the next time you put out and create a campaign for that, you know, well, if I want to double how much I made, I got to double how many people saw it, mm -hmm. okay, to make things simple. Um, but you need to have a strategic map. How many emails did I send? Well, I only sent three emails the first time. So the next time I got to send six, right? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't send no text. So maybe I'm going to start building my text list to kind of see if that helps with me getting more people to convert. Or um, And even if your campaign doesn't have to be a campaign where you're just trying to make sales. Maybe you're running a campaign to grow your list. Maybe you're running a campaign to grow your text list. With Black Friday coming up, a lot of you guys need to be running campaigns to grow and nurture your list right now and getting them prepared for um, Black Friday if we're going to have a big super Black Friday blowout. So that is what I have for you guys. Re 
saying what I said. Um, the four pillars are clarity, content, culture, and campaign. I thank you guys for having me here. And I'm going to let you guys open up to ask us any questions you might have. Make sure you text sale gems to 31996 so y'all can get those sale gems. Well, you let them know. Girl. I'm trying to promote your stuff. <laughs> Well, first of all, thank you so much. Um, everybody, go ahead and just give me a rating from zero to ten on how amazing Coach Kara Shade was in this uh, RLB spotlight. We got a chance to meet. I saw her on Instagram, um, and she just captivated me uh, with her uh -huh. authenticity and her amazing content and uh, totally humorous as well. <laughs> um, and then I got the chance to meet her at one of Candace's events. Shout out to the Spy Boss Tribe. And she was absolutely sweet. Um, so I knew that I wanted to bring her on to Team RLB and the Radiant Living Biz community. And I know that she shut it down today. Um, the key is taking action, everybody. If you come over through Radiant Living Biz or you're watching this uh, through my email list or through YouTube, go ahead and follow Kiara Shade. Go ahead and spell it out, Kiara, just in case somebody's watching something and they gotta get it. So y'all see right up here at the top of at at the top, y'all can screenshot it. She my name is actually tagged up there, but I'ma still put it in here for y'all just just in case. Yes, thank you. Okay. We got a lot of tens. Um, I totally appreciate yes, your guys. All right, screenshot um, that. You guys start dropping your questions. And I want to welcome all the guests who came over from your tribe who may not know me. My name is Chanel Anderson. I'm an award-winning business strategist with Radiant Living Biz. I help you attract your dream clients, close more sales, and earn consistent cash flow. So if you've already joined the text list, drop a cell phone in the comments. You want to text sales gems. To 31996. I've helped seven VIP clients who are now earning six to seven figures online after working with me. And my goal is to help 100 Black women business owners a day to double their sales in 14 days. That's why you need to be on the list, okay? Um, so let's see. Do we have any questions yet? Somebody uh, asked a question earlier. I can't swipe because it's on your okay. live, but they did ask, how do you start a text list when you're first starting out? So okay. this is a really good example of what we're doing right now. Chanel is getting people on her text list right now by having it pinned and giving, providing value. Even if you are not the person providing value, if you can bring other people to your community to provide value at that time and you can sit back and relax and bring the value, now you this is a this is this is a form of a lead magnet, right? <laughs> this is a form of a lead magnet and where you're get, it's it's a magnet that is pulling leads into your funnel right so this is a good easy way without even having to do anything study any, this is one of the very easiest ways is just go live provide value even if you're not comfortable going live and providing value with chanel's goal she goes live all the time but maybe you can have somebody else some guest speakers come on and then say hey make sure you subscribe to my texas but don't just get people on your texas and not have anything to give to them exactly. okay don't just get exactly. them on your text list because you want to get them on your text if you don't have nothing to say to them you ain't got no sales to drop to them if you ain't got no no sales gems to get to them, then what's the point of getting them on your mm -hmm. text list? But yeah, always and just always mentioning in your content and you can create a lead magnet. When I first started my text list, I created a, a free checklist or something mm -hmm. like that. And I was like, hey, you want this checklist? Make sure you get on my text list. And, you know, once they got on the text list, I sent it to them. But there's there's a, a number of ways. I mean, that takes work. This is Again, one of the easiest ways you can set up. Chanel inboxed me yesterday and said, hey, you free Monday, Tuesday, or Friday? And I was like, sis, I can't even tell you what I'm be doing the rest of the week. I'm going to just commit to doing it tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. And you can do that. You can reach out and say, hey, mm -hmm. I love what you do. I love what you give to the community. I would love for you to take the opportunity to point to my audience if you can, you know, and come join me on the live and talk about this or whatever. Had them come on, drop that number, and get those people on your list. All right. Thank you so much. Um, and for those who drop the cell phone emojis for joining, um, listen, coming up this week, I'm going to read another question, but um, you talked about making sure you have something to, to deliver value on, right? So on Wednesday, Royal Aesthetics Jax, my girl, um, Andrea Collins, she's going to be teaching mastering your craft, right? Because so many people, we can market, right? But you got to have something to back it up. <laughs> 
So Mastering Your Craft is on Wednesday. Tomorrow we have Lace by Latanya. She's going to be talking about um, how to build a top spa team. And um, on Thursday, Seymour Beauty, she's doing content creation secrets. And then on Friday, we're going to bring it on home with my girl Dior Lucas. Um, I don't have her title together yet, but I know she's going to finish strong. So, yes. Yeah, so let me see. What other questions do we have? And I can't um, see the comments no more. They always about... freeze up on me. You'll have to read it to me. The comments okay, stop working no like five minutes ago. Um, we have one question about the conversion rate, but you know what? I'm going to let... Um, Kiara Shade, give me something that I can drop in the group in the con in the um, clients and casual community Lux Beauty Bar NYC about the conversion rate so it can be clearer and we may even do like a joint post to share it so she can we can have some time to get that together for you okay write that down yeah we'll come back with that all right for the conversion rate breakdown um next heal with sunshine how do we market how do we do market research when we're just building a new audience as far as asking what they want to see more of or learn about? Great question. Great, great question. And I'm glad you asked this because this is one of my most frequent, frequently asked questions. Mm -hmm. So when you're first starting out, market research, a lot of people are not going to talk to you because they don't know you yet, right? They're just watching to see if they, they watch it to see if you're going to do what you said you was going to do when you said you was going to do it. So market research in the beginning is about you leaving your house so what i found is a lot of new entrepreneurs don't like to leave their house to go and invite people to the party they want to sit in their home mm -hmm. nobody knows they live there nobody knows the party is going on and you got to get out there and you got to start guerrilla marketing so you got to leave your page you got to go to other people's pages who are in your industry who are leading who are being consistent with their content and you need to look and see what is it that they're posting that you engage with and that their audience is loving right you need to start going in and looking in them comments the people that's commenting right who is these people commenting? let me go look on that page and see what they're posting let me go see what their pain points are you got to really do y'all y'all see y'all y'all when it comes to building business, creating content, and creating a brand on Instagram, it is very, very, very much like dating, right? This is the easiest way to, for me to explain how it is when it comes to content marketing. A lot of y'all done been the crazy girlfriend before. Am I wrong? <laughs> that was the only way that got me laughing. <laughs> it's on Instagram somewhere, you about to go find all her social media Look and see who commenting, who she go posting. There on the show. Okay, and y'all y'all need to do the same thing with your business. Who is this commenting on her uh stuff? <gasps> Let me go see what she about. Did it's she the just, same did thing. She just make it real for y'all or what? It's the same oh thing. Goodness. Get to stalking. They ain't get gonna to forget stalking. that one. Get to stalking the same oh, way you be stalking that man. You need to get to stalking your target audience. Period. And you'll come up with an abundance of content ideas. I got one more gem to put on top of that gem um, for market research. That was, a good, that was a great one, right? And then we're going to take two more questions because only because the last joint live we did, it got so good. We went so long. It did not save. And I was like, ooh, mm -hmm. it was good with the book of DJ. So we don't want to lose this. So everybody, make sure you're following Kiara Sade. Um, if you came over from my community or you somebody shared this uh, so you can continue to learn from her or if you need to reach out and work with her, um, we definitely see the value that she's bringing to the table. So one more thing I want to put on top of that with content creation and market research is put in your keyword or your key phrase, right? Um, for It could be vaginal steaming, okay? It could be vaginal steaming. Go to YouTube type in vaginal steaming look at the videos that are being created under vaginal steaming and see the ones that have the most views the most engagement that's already popping that people are already paying yeah. attention to yeah then you take that same title okay and you use it for your live stream for your post but you make it your own yeah you make it your own. You've already proven, right? It's like a search engine optimization. You've already, they already saying that's, oh, we yep. feeling this. We feeling this. Go take the same exact, um, I did this for one of my clients and we came up with um, how to do DIY vaginal steaming routine or whatever. It's the phrase. Sometimes y'all struggle with how to say this. I don't know how to say it. 
It's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're not, I wouldn't do it to my direct exact competitor. And say, say how you right? say it. Don't do that. But, <laughs> but you know, you can just take it from somebody in a different, different, um, that's not a direct competitor or in the industry. There's so many people out here that's already working. And then you, and if you don't know it, then you better do your research and you got to be mastering your craft. But you yeah. should have a perspective, right? On those things. Just like Kiara Sade's perspective, I heard her on one of her lives talking about, you know, the longevity proving your worth, so so to speak, with the experience. Like coming in as a new coach, she's relatively doesn't have enough experience, but this is the track record. And she doesn't need validation from anybody else to be in the game for five years to do X, Y, and Z. That's her perspective. Got it? Mary over here can have another perspective on vaginal statement. She can have another perspective on infertility. She can have, right? What is it that you think? What do you believe? What sets you apart? So do that market research to see where the conversation is, but then you come back, right? And put your own expertise. That's why you gotta, you gotta equal, put even more time into mastering your craft and studying and investing in yourself, right? To, to, to be a, a thought leader, to be someone who can solve problems. So I trust that that was helpful. Um, here with Sunshine. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to look for one to two more questions. I'm scrolling down. Okay. Um, somebody asked the real to Quanta, um, how do you stalk their target audience? Did she I, ask that before I, before this I. This is a different person. Um, yeah. To Quanta Hayden. So I'm asking if she asked that before I explain how, how to stalk your target you audience what? or. It might, it might be. I'm sorry, my mind might be not following all the way. So you already addressed that all the way. I mean, pretty much. I can, okay. I can reiterate just for those that might be confused about it. So again, we're gonna go just how. I mean, even, even elaborating on what Chanel just said. So what I like to do with YouTube is I like to take it a step further and I just look at the title. But I like to go in the comments. I'm a comment stalker. The mm -hmm. same way you are gonna stalk that man and see who in his comment, who liking his, who is this liking his stuff, who is this with these hard eyes. I go to the comments and I look and see what questions they are asking. So if you're on a DIY vaginal video, steam video, and you got everybody saying, well, how do I know where to get the steamer? Or what kind of steamer is it? Or how long do I sit on the steamer? Now that's content. Each of those questions mm -hmm. is content. Now you can create a post saying, here are my favorite vaginal steams to get. Or this is how long you should sit. You should never sit longer than this. This is the temperature that it needs to be. You're going to take all of these questions because sometimes we forget as the expert how to be new again. In order for me to remain new, I go back and I go and stalk my competitors mm -hmm. and I see what the new people are asking them so I can always stay fresh and always stay new and I'm able to create content that really correlates to you guys. So in short, you stalk your, you stalk your audience by stalking. What are they posting? What are they liking? What what is it that they're engaging with, mm -hmm. right? So, great. I hope stuff. that was clear, more clear. Very helpful. Thank you so much. Listen, this was amazing. Thank you so much, Kiara Shade, Coach Kiara Shade, for coming on and spending some time with Radiant Living Biz. Hashtag Team RLB. We appreciate you. Absolutely. And um, uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing people put this into action because we show up here. You know, we I love my clients. Uh, I'm sure Kara loves, but we get the biggest satisfaction when we see you do the work, right? Yes. My business philosophy is believe, Lord. invest, and do the work. And all you needed to invest this morning was your time and relationship. It cost you absolutely nothing. Um, and as you said, like, we give the kind of stuff for free that people pay for, okay? okay. So make sure... <laughs> Make sure you follow her. Make sure that um, if you were here, you got value. Go to her Google and leave her a review, right? There's always ways that you can um, support and spread the word. Um, again, thank you so much for texting Sales Gems to 31996. The week lineup um, is going to be amazing. It's going to be about this time every day, 1145. So turn on your notifications for Radiant Living Biz. I appreciate you guys. Um, and let's pray that this live stream is, is nice to us and we'll see you <laughs> over in YouTube. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Bye, you All guys. Right. Thank you for having me. And I Thank will talk you. to you later. You're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you, everybody, for joining. More Radiance.